this is how to do the simplified uh, p10 return in nifty payroll uh, the first thing you need to do is to download the new p10 format from your itax online account so you get this uh, unzip it and open it second thing make sure you've updated your nifty uh, so that it has this new return uh, make sure you get at least uh, 2025 too. It may be more recent than this, but make sure it's that as a minimum. Uh, so the first thing you do is you export the simplified P10, assuming you've already run uh, your July payroll. So we're in July 2025. You've processed. You come to reports, export, and this third in the second column government and security just below the old p10 is this i've not actually there is no uh, I, p10 for persons with disability because a column was added in the simplified p10 uh, that accommodates that so if we export this so i've selected export we export into our folder let me just open so that you can see what's exported which is that we go to the next step so open your kra p10 excel file and input your first page details so if i open this say okay so input your first page details make sure it's the simplified unified payroll return version 30.00 then uh, next step is go to the employee sheet which is this one and import the csv so i'll go there import csv remember where you saved it there it is you import all the col relevant columns will be imported let's just scroll through you can see this is the persons with disability column so if you have someone in this you do yes and their certificate which will have entered in the system should be picked here so you have cash pay, value of car benefit, value of meals, non-cash benefits, type of housing, whether you house your people or not, other benefits, total gross, and then SHIF, NSSF, this is private pension, uh, post-retirement medical, mortgage interest, also called owner-occupied interest, affordable housing levy, taxable pay, I'll talk about this shortly, then you have your personal relief, your insurance relief, and then X is KRA's calculation based on what you've imported. Y is Nifty's calculation uh, that Nifty has done. So if we go to the next step, now I said here AH and, and AI, but this is X and Y. In this new one, the columns to compare are X versus Y. So if we come here, you have X and Y. Uh, so this is X. So Y is your self-assessed PYE, what's been calculated. And uh, X is KRS calculation. So this is KRS, that's yours. So just compare, make sure. Uh, similarity between the, it should be exactly be the same, maybe at most you'll have a couple of cents difference but it should be the same like this so I said I'll mention this issue the first row uh, on the tests I've done the first row is giving me no taxable pay for the first line that I've entered I don't know if this is a bug in my CSV or in this sheet when you try you'll see whether you get the same so what's happening is because there's no taxable pay probably the formula is not uh, copy to this row you're getting PYE of 0 on uh, X but if the rest are correct you can assume your first one is correct yeah that's what I'm saying so I don't know whether it's a bug uh, but if so this is X versus Y versus Y if X and Y the other X and Y match you can assume your first row is also correct so try this see if you uh, get to this stage successfully. If not, uh, please let me know. Thank you.